It's been 25 years since a little boy went on a bike ride with his brother and a friend and never returned. A gunman abducted Jacob Wetterling near his home in St. Joseph. Tonight, porch lights are lit up in memory of Jacob. The annual tradition is a reminder that the case remains unsolved. Esme Murphy looks at the new efforts by investigators to find Jacob and how the case has changed the way all missing children's cases are handled. My whole name is Jacob Irvin Wetterling. My favorite food is steak. It's a case that defied logic then and now. An 11-year-old boy kidnapped at gunpoint as he rode his bike with his brother and friend just after 9 p.m., just a half mile from his home in peaceful St. Joseph, Minnesota. My favorite color is blue. My best friend is Aaron Larson. Aaron Larson and Jacob's brother Trevor told reporters how the gunman asked them their ages and then chose Jacob. He grabbed Jacob and then he told me to run as fast as I could into the woods or else he'd shoot. As a massive search fanned out from the spot where the boys had left their bikes, Patty and Jerry Wetterling gave the first of what would certainly be thousands of interviews. There's no explanation. I, I don't feel the anger yet. I just want him home. Jacob, you just got to keep hanging in there and, and keep the faith and keep looking to God. You're going to pull through. 25 years later, the Wetterlings stood before reporters again, announcing a new billboard campaign featuring pictures of what a computer program believes Jacob would look like now. We hope for answers. Where are you? Jacob, we love you and hold you in our hearts. In the chasm of a quarter century of leads that have led nowhere, Patty Wetterling has become a national figure in the fight for better laws and resources for missing children and their families. Four months after Jacob disappeared, she founded the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center. At the beginning, we called it stranger abduction. That's what we thought. We know now that statistically, it's not usually a total stranger. It may be may well be somebody who's familiar in this community and we need people to come forward. And the push for new leads is focused on the surrounding community. A new billboard campaign asking for the public's help is centered in the communities of St. Joseph, Cold Spring and Painesville, a triangle of communities just 20 miles apart. And these facts match up with Jacob's abduction. Six weeks after Jacob was taken, the FBI announced they believed Jacob's kidnapper had struck before. In January 1989, in the nearby town of Cold Spring, a man in a car approached a 12-year-old boy named Jared, kidnapped him, and sexually assaulted him. Jared's case has also never been solved. In May, he brought us back to the road where his kidnapper let him go. I was dropped off and told to run, uh, don't look back, or he would shoot. Wetterling investigators are also taking a fresh look at at least six unsolved sexual assaults of boys in nearby Painesville in 1986 and 1987. Patty Wetterling only learned about the Painesville cases last year and believes they could hold the key to Jacob's case. I do think there's a strong possibility that they could be connected. and um, To Jacob's case. To Jacob's case. But in the frantic weeks and months after Jacob was taken, law enforcement never made an appeal for information in the Painesville cases, an oversight that Patty Wetterling told us last May would almost certainly not happen today. It's a different world then. We didn't have the Internet. We didn't have... We worked really hard to f make sure that every law enforcement agency had a fax machine. They didn't even have that at that point. Back then, law enforcement also had no databases of sex offenders. There were no Amber Alerts, instantly flashing information. Today, with these advances, some of them shaped by Jacob's case, 97% of missing children come home. Jacob, you just got to keep hanging in there and, and keep the faith and keep looking to God. You're going to pull through. Where are you, Jacob? We love you and hold you in our hearts, and we will never get up, give up. Please help call 1-800-THE-LOST. And again, that tip line number for the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children is 1-800-THE-LOST.